A new rollout to the COVID-19 vaccine began today. About 1,000 shots expected to have been administered by the end of the day today at the Alamo Dome alone. The goal was at least 1,500 vaccines per day. The 19's Jaffney Gray has been tracking the process on day one at the Alamo Dome. All right, Jaffney, we know that demand has outstripped supply so far. How many vaccines is the city working with right now? Well, Steve, according to Metro Health, we have 30,000 vaccines to be split between the three major health care providers here in the city. They say that they're more than confident that by the end of the week, 9,000 vaccines will have been administered here at the Alamo Dome alone. Today, patients who had an appointment came in and had to fill out a consent form before heading to the pharmacy area to get the Pfizer vaccine. Patients then sat in a 15-minute waiting area to make sure they didn't have a reaction to the vaccine. They left after receiving an information card stating the date they got the vaccine and a code to register for the second dose, which will be 21 days from now. Patients who went through the process are encouraging others to get the vaccine as soon as they qualify to do so. It's not going to kill you, so... Let's get it done. You see everybody getting COVID. You see everybody, what everybody's going through. Might as well go and get it. If anything, it's going to help us all get back to normal as, as soon as possible. Get back to our, my grandma, my mom, you know, our loved ones and be able to hug again. There have been questions about creating a wait list. Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf said it would make the process more confusing. There are hopes to expand. The city says it plans to request 30,000 vaccines per week from the state of Texas. Now, if you didn't get a chance to get registered, do not worry. Just be patient. The city says that they hope to treat these vaccination sites like they treated the COVID-19 testing sites in the beginning, where initially they will have mega testing sites that broke out into several small micro testing sites. Now, for more information about the current sites or how to get registered, just visit this on our website at ksat.com. Live at the Alamo Dome, Daphne Gray, KSAT 12 News.